All right, everybody. Leia.gg. The tournament continues. Clutch battles with French frogs against easy loot. Round three of the tournament, if I'm not mistaken. And, well, we're jumping in straight away. Let's have a bit of a look on the attacker side in particular. So now the defenders, the French frogs against easy loot over here. We have another Reyna player in the game, so the agent that was just added in the recent patch. Actually, we have one on each side, even. So when it comes to the team compositions, noteworthy that we have only one Cypher player over here, in this case for easy loot. So I have to admit that I'm a bit unfamiliar with the two teams that we have, but apparently a lot of these players are former Counter-Strike players that have played on a pretty high level. So we'll see what they can actually pull off here. Noteworthy also that we have a Jet in play. There were, of course, a lot of changes in the recent patch that introduced the game fully. The game is live now. And Time Jet, for example, got a pretty big boost to her smokes. That's already a bit of an attack play and the entry frag as Niso comes in and gets the kill. Nicely done. Now tries to follow it up with the second one. So far not happening, but they are dominating at that point. So they're all sitting on C right now and trying to get the first point onto the board here and win the first round with the entry frag. It's a 5 versus 4 in their favor. And the defenders are trying to recapture the spawn here. So far not quite working out. Smokes everywhere. Another kill comes in as Vitality goes down. Kinsta also eliminated. And easy loot looking at an easy victory as we have Niso finishing what he started. Coming in and taking the last kill. And take a quick look at that entry frag again that he was able to get previously. So at that point, Niso starting to move in and as we could see here, starts to move around, gets the kill, quickly connected, nicely done by him. That started off the first round and gave them the first point onto the board here. But of course now the big question, can they follow that up with another win? They have the money, they got also the... Uh, well, they got actually quite a bit they invested in right now, so full armor obviously. But interestingly enough, French Frogs actually they bought. They spent their money, so they don't play an eco round here, and that makes this a really interesting one already right off the get-go. Yeah, kill on each side, as well for one again. Reyna coming in, trying to go for the blind, able to nearly get another shot connected. Yeah, Niso is a little bit low though, needs to be careful. Switches the weapon out, as he's trying to flank in onto B. Double checking spawn first, wall is already in, the rest of the team is rotating over to see again, nice headshot, well played here, gets the heals now as well, comes through, and with that now, we have a 4 versus 3 in favor of easy loot, looking towards spawn again, but we have another kill as Uzi is taken out, but not before he himself got another kill. That puts us into a 2 versus a 3 situation though. And it's a little bit of a slow approach now on the defender side. I mean, Sage over here, Vitality is actually playing this incredibly slow as the Guardian now is moving in together with Phoenix as they're trying to reclaim uh, the control over C. Definitely not going to be easy for them by any means. Good thing is, of course, that Reyna is incredibly low on the side of easy loot, so a good chance for Vitality to get the kill in, and he does! Comes in and takes him down, Nice eliminated. 2v2 situation, but already a little bit late, too late for them to make anything happen here, so they're simply moving back. From Vitality's perspective, I mean, if you think about it, they were still able to get themselves a few weapons over here, so that's actually good. The problem is, of course, that Vitality is the last one standing. Phoenix got also taken out, so uh, in this case, we don't really see them going for a lot of additional weapons, simply because they just don't have the economy. Normally on the second round, you'll see the losing team going for a full-on eco round, but that's not the case here so they don't have a lot that they can buy we got a bucky in play we got a bulldog i mean even on armor they're a little bit low so attackers are in a very very good spot now in the attempt to make some plays here niso of course with reyna again fantastic agent by the way really fun to watch can get a lot of momentum in those fights if you have someone that is able to just nail those headshots there's a lot that you can do over there with your with your q with your e getting those stacked up so they're switching things up a little bit after two approaches onto C, we see the deviation over onto A, and we have a single defender actually onto A. Vitality is the only one, sitting a little bit far back. Yeah, sees the eye, takes it down right away, and gets the kill against Niso as well. Job well done, but then also falls. Initially a good approach by them, so now we have a 4 versus 4 situation going here with David trying to move it. Yeah, wall is already set down quite quickly. Nobody on window actually at this point. 
Also trying to get the kill here. A bit of a breach battle is going to happen. On the other side here around the corner. And the kill comes in and that secures it. The attackers winning another one. 3-2-0. A very good opening for easy loot. And the French frogs, they are starting to be a bit in trouble here. So now it's finally a round where they should be able to to buy. No, even here they won't be able to get anything done. That's actually more than a little bit upsetting for them. So they lost three rounds in a row because they always bought a little bit. They just don't have enough. It's actually really frustrating. It's one of the reasons why economy is just super important here and why oftentimes we see teams go on the second round if they lost the first one. Go for an eco round. Not so much in uh, this situation though, so that's a bit uh, unfortunate. But No Name gets the kill against Machina, so that was actually uh, highly important for him to make a bit of a play there. Ideally, of course, they would be able to get another follow-up. So he's still sitting on C and the defender side has already rotated in with an additional three agents. That's a bit of a slow approach there still, still waiting it out. Interestingly enough also, Phoenix is trying to push out a little bit, gets taken down by Index. Nicely done. Lead kill right there. Spike carrier though, Blasting. still trying to come through. Oh, and another kill, a double kill. Last man standing is actually David, who's currently using the heals here. Overheals quickly to 150 and is now trying to push out. Bad news for him is that he's up against four at this point. So this could well be another point for the attackers until he completely pops off and uses Rainer to her full potential here. And he's actually starting to move forward a little bit. Uh, this is a really annoying trap to get around to, so that doesn't help him a lot either. Yeah, the overheal is actually now also expired, so he's back to 100 and he's decided to save. So this very much looks like another victory for Easy Loot. Yeah, Easy Loot is crushing a bit. The French frogs are currently completely taken apart. I mean, I've heard that they are a delicacy, but they are definitely farmed in this game. So far, we have no name with four kills. I mean, Machina and Kinstar haven't even gotten a kill yet in this game. Uh, maybe David now can lock one in. Raises on the right side. Could maybe win that little peak battle over here. There comes the TNT, and he gets one. That's another 200 credits for the next round. Good start for him here for sure. Wolves are now coming up slowly as well. Brimstone has his, but when we look over to Easy Loot, they now got two ults available. They got the Showstopper on Raze, and they got also the Empress for Reyna. So there's uh, actually an opportunity to pop off a little bit for Niso. Definitely a chance here. Defenders are stacking on C. And we have on A a bit of a push forward from Brimstone as he's trying to go in here. Now... Well, with Niso already moving forward, and of course the opportunity now to maybe get that entry kill. Double Doors are already getting attacked. Here comes the ult, moves in, tries to get the kill, cuts around the corner and gets eliminated. Double kill, showstopper in action. Vitality trying to go for the heals here. Index takes down Kinstar, so there's at least that going for them. But Index with another quick kill shortly after. Defenders in trouble now. Another approach over here, trying to move in. Needs to be careful at the window. Yeah, a little bit of a peek towards the right, and there it is. But David with the kill. Well played over here. David himself with his Reyna, maybe with an opportunity. Already going for the blind. Uh, can go for the old ult now. In this case, just going for the invisibility, trying to get the quick kill in. So far, not happening. Nobody here. They actually push through the double doors. There's only two uh, two attackers remaining. Two versus three situation. Jed, on the other hand, still poking there a little bit. Nobody on C. Brimstone still on A. Don't have any idea where they are right now. And we're gonna see the plant any second on C. And there it is. No name is still alive. Easy loot. Gonna try and make the plays over here. And get another win onto the board. But last man standing situation. One versus three. And one coming in from behind over long. Jet already sitting on the side. There's a headshot at least. The hit from behind is coming in though. But there's another one on spawn already. Ult is in but it doesn't matter. Uzi comes through with the operator and gets the kill secured. And finally, with the help of his teammate, is able to put a point onto the board for the French Frogs. Were able to also get themselves a little bit more weaponry here. As you could see but that one was important. It was a 
big killing spree that we saw for easy loot here, but the French Frogs finally starting to hit W and able to get some kills in for themselves. So far, well done. But again, we got a few ults ready, and actually we got quite a couple of ults in play now. So Jet, for example, also has hers ready when it goes for the Operator. Fantastic agent, of course, for those Operator plays. And with the help of Phoenix trying to jump onto the box, doesn't want to use any utility on that. Uh, can't quite get that connected just yet, but there it is. And now, of course, the angle down on C long. A little bit unfortunate that nobody is actually at C. Instead, Uzi is using the second operator of the team to try and get a kill in over here as the attack is hitting A. The reinforcements are there just a second later. But no decision made yet. Defenders also. David sitting at window. Oh, shouldn't really move here. Could still get a bit of company here. Uh, not so far. It's a pretty slow approach here. Right. Needs to be careful. Kinstar on 15 HP. And push out now. Heals himself up a little bit. Shades are already coming in, as already expected. But of course, Brimstone is also just sitting still on A. Uzi with the operator. Aiming down short now. That's two at least waiting on A long. And we still got Phoenix versus Sage over at the double doors, too. And Sage, of course, holds the spike currently for the team. <laughs> you yeah, will still not a slow approach here. Ally. Breach is actually the one that is starting to move over. Back to short now. Gets the blind through as they're rushing onto the spot. Another one comes in. Old is already out. Moves through it and they get the kill. Ho <laughs> ho! And he absolutely exactly murders them here. Tonza with the triple beautiful kill. kill. Four versus two situation right now. Big play is coming in from Breach. Doesn't even get a heal for his efforts here way. as Sage is still on cooldown, but holy hell, it was absolutely beautiful what he just pulled off here. And they know exactly where they are. Yeah, there's another kill. And he locks it in. Look at that kill setup from him though. Comes in from the side, moves on to spawn, the ult comes out on the side of uh, Brimstone, gets one kill, they come through, and then he gets the double there as well. Really, really well done. Tonza with a triple and sets himself up all the way up to the top together with Index on the scoreboard now. Five points to one. Yeah, and again, the same problem that we saw for the French team already in previous rounds. They just don't have enough money to buy themselves proper weaponry. So they are in a really tricky spot now. Operator comes in again. Tonza gets the kill against Uzi. Nicely done. Entry frag for them. Machina, there's still a lot of frags getting exchanged. We still have a uh, three versus one on the map now. The only one surviving for the defender side is actually Machina. He's also the one holding a Vandal here. And honestly, with 22 hit points, there's just nothing for him to do in this situation. That's going to be a save, if anything. You're up against three. Spike is already planted. The chances of him to come in and make a play here are slim to none. So yeah, this is just not happening. But all right. Uh, still aiming this down. There's nobody moving in for him. Again, they're not really in a position where they want to make any plays either. Taking the win is all that they want to accomplish here. But Machina is still moving in. Honestly, this is tricky. If he dies and loses the only Vandal that they have, that would burn their economy even further. So you really, really want to save that gun here. There's nobody trying to chase him down either. He won't be able to make a player unless someone runs right into him. So yeah, they're just moving back. Going for the explosion. And that's pretty much all they can do here. But that's six points to one now. Easy loot with the big boy players. Taking a huge advantage on the attacker side. And they now also have the Brimstone ult up, of course, too. But things are a bit dire. Again, finally, at least money, right? So they got that going for them. We have also... Well, Reyna on the defender side for uh, the French Fox nearly has her ult ready. Needs one more point towards the uh, ult to make it work. Then again, we see the same for Reyes. Index has a 5 out of 6. So another point, and he's going to have the showstopper available. And he's going to push to this one. Put the battle over on Heilong as well. The Roomba is down. And here comes Phoenix as they're trying to move in. Going for the kills. A little bit of a uh, wall bang happening around the box. 
will try to check this one out and easily moving away. So a bit of a battle, nothing really happening too much just yet, but over. Okay, just as they jump into no name, he gets taken down. Jet says uh, thank you very much and takes the kill here. At the double doors, we have them slowly pushing through, and that's an easy one for Kinster. Yeah, four versus two now all of a sudden. They're hoping for a bit more as an approach towards Air C Long now. But it's a bit of a tricky spot for the two attackers to be in now. They're going up against twice the numbers. Pikesu can't really pick this too aggressively now. Still waiting for uh, Jet to show herself over here. For Brimson, actually, who fell back already. Yeah, we're talking My about is Jet, there it is. That camera didn't do anything. That camera did do jack shit. You mean kill right there against it. Gets destroyed within a second. Yeah, so trying to wrap around over here. Already being fired! Oh, I finally go for the wall bank, but Pikeso is low. 72 for him. And again, we of course have also Breach now sitting. Breach actually gets taken down. Dons has eliminated. And Kinstar with four kills. Nice. Another point for the defenders. Okay, they're starting to find the rhythm a little bit. They were definitely struggling initially. But now that they are able to afford the full buy, they are in a spot where they are taking at least a few of them down. Look at the economy though. Tonza alone had 9,000, which is of course the limit. So they can just buy for days. As it happens, they're evening out the economy a little bit and Tonza buys for some other of his team members. It's honestly a smart thing to do because if you have another great round and you win it too, you're just going to lose out on money. <sighs> bit of an approach towards C long again as it seems. No, this on the other hand is going to be interesting. Right, trying to push through. Careful here, and like so, yeah, they're aiming. Oh, ho, ho. they kill as Niso goes down. But job well done. Two down, two for one trade. Six points against two attackers. Still with a three versus four situation at this point. Starting to push over towards C again, where we have Kinster just waiting for an opportunity. You can hear them actually reloading as is. Yeah, and there it is! There's the kill, and the double! Gets two kills in, easy peasy, uh, smokes there quickly. So he tries to go for the flash, but now it's the last man standing situation for Rays and Index. Oh, nice! Gets at least one headshot connected. Shouldn't really be able to get too much done outside of that though, with three defenders still remaining. But that was a great kill for her regardless. Another 200 threads in the next round. Still easy. Machina gets the final hit. But yeah, let's take a look at those kills again that we saw from Kinster here. So he moves around, is able to get the hits in, and yeah, gets a second kill there as well before he starts to flash over. So well done by him. That was just absolutely perfect. That ruined the round for the attackers for sure and put another point onto the board for the team. So job well done by him. And they are starting to close that gap. I like it. It looked a little bit like a stomp initially, yeah. but the French frogs, they are definitely starting to show some teeth here and fight their way back into this particular one. A little bit of a look over to, uh, to raise of course, as well. We got a showstopper in play, Niso. Has his ult up, uh, of course, too. Uh, careful, make their way with the blinds. That at least connected. Can, of course, always shoot that one down. And here comes the kill as Index comes in. Takes him down. Nicely done. That's two kills now. Three kills against the defenders. But Uzi, he's trying to save it for the defending team right now. Gets the Molly out too. Gets the ult connected as well. And that's a kill against Sage. Nicely done. He's the last man standing. Has two facing off against him. Which is making this quite difficult now. Spike, of course, is already planted. So the defuse is not going to be easy by any means. Yeah... Right around the corner, careful. That's the smoke, trying to smoke it off completely. To go for the defuse here, and he gets immediately uh, attacked by Tonza, who was just waiting. Playing it super patient. Spray game on point as well. Seven points against three, two more rounds in the half. And off we go. Yeah, again, I like it. So we still have a bit of money left for the defenders. It's not like they're running short anytime soon now. They won a couple of rounds, and that definitely helped them. Will be able to go for the full buy quite easily. 
Actually, no, well, no, they got enough. They got enough. Sorry, for a second I wasn't quite sure if they would be able to buy for Vitality. But they are able to pull that off. And I have a look to Jet. Already pushing forward heavily. Nice, good kill. Sets all of this up. Still coming in and gets the double. Yeah, well done. Good job by Jet over here. Raze with the showstopper on the other hand. Three versus four situation right now. Bit over. Ooh, Machina over oh, index gets finally eliminated as Kinster says, Not on my watch, baby. But yeah, what a game again. And again, let's take a look at the double kill that started it off here. So we actually had Machina pushing through, gets the first one, and is able to lock in a second one just a second later. Really nicely done here. It's a great opening frex that we saw there. Gets his third one too, so went for the triple, but wasn't quite able to survive the round. This is the last the last one, the last round obviously, in the half. And we got quite a few ults ready. I mean, especially when we're talking about Phoenix. Now, he could definitely play super aggressive with his own ult now. A bit more of a slower approach towards the middle. Uh, and as we're talking about it, we actually got Jump's David over. down. You're dead. Okay. He's just moving in with the ult. Tries for the flash. Goes for one. Goes for two. Opens it up. But there's actually nobody standing there. He needs to go around the corner. Sees actually at least the shots. They have a little bit of information. Machina uses it for the kills. Oh my god. Damn. Once again, uh, we're having Uzi with his operator trying to get the kills in here. Talking about kills, with the wall down, we got Vitality holding on on A side. Uzi still looking for a kill opportunity here. Uh, Molly's it up towards the top. Sage already has the wall down. Shots are being fired, switches weapons. Could go in for it. Kills are there, defenders winning it. Just going straight in for the two pronged attack here. And that's a five versus seven. Yeah, we are closing in, everybody. All right, so uh, second half is starting up right here. And, yeah, so far so good. Now the time to shine, of course, on the attacker side for the French Frogs. I mean, again, rumor has it that the, fro or the French are usually uh, just much better on the defending side. You know, if you're going to hit uh, S, then you're always moving away. So let's see what they can do when they have to hit W. Smokes are already about to open up. Of course, Pistol Run going to be important. Going to set the pace of the second half. If they can win the first one, that would be fantastic for the frogs here. We need a couple of battle frogs in action right now. <laughs> As we're talking about battle frogs, let's have a look at David here. Went for the classic, went for a little bit of armor. So decided to not go for a ghost or anything, but instead just armor up. Yeah, and still doesn't make the play here. Kinsta, on the other hand, he's trying to move straight through this. Oh, and gets the kill in! Nicely done. Great job by him. Oh, wants to go for the second one, but he's not able to make the play. Index instead, but the spike is in. That was important already. That's extra credits for the next round. We still have a three versus four going. Ooh, that's going to be some damage. Uh, can he still peek around the corner? Though? He's... Oh, ho, 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 Machina gets a kill. Tries to go for the Roomba. Wall is up as they're aiming for the defuse, but the wall is quickly banged down. Trying to go around the corner here. Uh, just waiting it out. Ah, <laughs> no name. With the hit and the last man standing on the attacker side. Oh, he doesn't have the angle. Actually, he does. He gets the kill. The attackers take it. Gets the kill in just towards the end there. The attackers with a victory <laughs> nicely done. Yeah, that's six to seven points now. Easy loot is still ahead, but the French frogs are starting to make the plays now. Yeah, well done. I like it. Okay, so now to we have a uh, six to seven. That's the chance to equalize the score here. Oh, that's a lot of shotties on the side of the defenders now. Easy loot as they're defending all of this. Starting to make the plays. Alright. Let's get ready for some action over here. Let's see what they can do with this. Yeah, we got two frenzies actually for them now. But of course, got the specters in. Starting to push through this. Yeah, that's exactly where Sage is sitting. Needs to of course double check that. 
Oh, sees one, doesn't see the second, and goes down. A side, on the other hand, that's a different story. That's exactly where we're going to see the plan. The rest of the attacking team has moved over there very, very quickly. Right, already a bit of an idea. Good headshots here. Mashina with really good kills once again. And Smoke comes through, watches from spawn, gets another one! Oh my god! Mashina absolutely crushing it on the headshots right now, equalizing the score. Yeah, gets the first shot in, so also after the first kill initially, but just look at this. 18 HP only, and then BAM! Around the corner, connects one easily. Now that we're heading into uh, the next round here, it's on an equal score. We have full buys for both teams. Gives a bit of an advantage actually over to Easy Loot because we still have two Spectres in the hands of the French Frogs. So they don't quite have the same weaponry here. But still, it's two Phantoms, one Vandal. So they still got a very, very decent setup. No Operators just yet. Poking through the smoke. Oh, Tonza actually gets the kill. Nice. Still trying to commit over to see a little bit. Machina is trying to take tons out, who actually rotates over. They actually feel that there is an attack going. Oh, careful. Does he get the vision? Not so far on the left. Yeah, easy kill. All right. Good. Good pins attack that we got there. All right, smokes that out. And has to be careful now. Nobody aiming that down yet. I mean, it's only last man standing, right? So Cypher is the last one. Pike, so is going to try and make it happen for the defenders now, but Easy Loot is starting to run into trouble here as Mashina comes in for another quick kill. Job well done, well played. Alrighty. So, as all of this happens though, we got the lead. French Frogs, aggressive on the attacker side. Doing well, I liked it. Yeah, great plays by, by them. <laughs> the Frogs are angry apparently, very angry at that. <laughs> But, yeah, let's, let's check this out. For now, when it comes to weaponry, eco round. Eco round for the defenders. So that should be an easy lock-in for another point for the attackers here. Let's take a bit of a look to what Kinster is going to do here. He's already waiting now. To, oh, actually, really aggressive setup here from Dami. There's two against him. Goes for the blind, tries to go for the wall bang here. He himself blinded for just a second, but shoots the eye down. But <laughs> super aggressive play towards B. Talking about aggressive plays, it looks like we have another setup over to the side. One kill, two kills. Nicely done. Uzi. Great action from him. Really well played. And the rest of the team now moving towards B. There's only last man standing situation here over onto A. So as he's trying to play this slow, let's take another look at that double kill over here. So first we had the action in the middle. But then uh, the plays onto the left side. Look at this. The kill comes in. Bam. Gets the double easily as they look in the flawless victory. Yeah, nine against seven. Again, against an eco round. So kind of what you would expect. Still nice shots that we saw there from uh, Uzi as he uh, moved onto the point. But now is another round where we're going to have full buys available for easy loot. So there we have them. Yeah, and with this now, still no operator in play, so we don't have any kind of sniper action in this game. But now with nine kills, to, oh sorry, nine points to seven, that's at least an opportunity for the attackers to set themselves ahead a little bit more. And just look at the round system. They won four rounds now. So ever since we had the halftime switch, or ever since the halftime switch, they absolutely dominated. Reach is trying to hold this pretty much alone. Needs to shoot the eye down, which is what he does. And he gets a headshot as well. Trying to go for the blind here, but he just doesn't stand a chance anymore. As the attackers go straight in and take control of C. Nice done. Niso now starting to slowly rotate over. It's three defenders still remaining. They're going up against four attackers over here. Easy loot. They need a point. They need to really close this gap. If they let the frogs walk away with this, it's going to be a massive problem for them. They're slowly peeking again. Nicely done here. Get Gets the kill. Niso trying to gain a little bit more momentum here even. And he gets another shot connected. Well played by him. That's two kills for him already. Tries to follow it up with a third one. But the wall is down. And that should allow them to go for the... Yeah, for the kill from Index. And they also, of course, get the defuse. That's the point right there. Nicely done. Well played. And of course, the man of the hour at this point. Definitely our... Reina player moving in as you can see he gets the initial kill and then 
just here. Big headshot once again. That's the second kill that he was able to lock in. And yeah, that set the pace for this particular defense. So they're closing the gap again and making it a close call. Still has the ult available, by the way. So Niso can always pull that off now if he wants to. Panexo gets a weapon uh, too. We still have no operators here. Both of the teams are completely playing without one. But still a bit of extra money now for the defenders. Yeah, pushing through Inside. over here already. Gets the iron and gets a shot connected. No kill, but still taking some of the armor down on the other side. So that was one most important too. Well, they're trying to go and make around the corner again. And there's the kill. Niso is able to make it happen. You gets the kill in. Kill Needs to be careful still on short. It's another eye out. Oh, a little bit too much party time here. Yeah, it's a full on party over there. And David gets the kill in and tries to, of course, follow it up with even more. They fall back for now, but that was two, that was two good frags, actually, against the defenders. So they're playing it a bit more patient as they're pushing slowly on to A. But Pikes gets at least the kill against Jet. Takes Marshina down. Another eye comes out. And bam! That's the kill. He gets the overheal. Overheals for 50. Tries to push around the corner. Always going for the quick blind here. Doesn't set anything up over there. It's only one man standing. Only Tonza. Tonza can make it happen. He gets the headshot in against Kinsta. But he's up against three. Three remaining. <laughs> it's gonna be tricky to say the least. Oh, ho, ho, he gets a kill. But it's not enough to take Uzi down. The French frog comes in. Quick hop and that's a kill. Ten against eight. They're closing in on it. Slowly but steadily, they're getting into a position where they might just advance to the next round of the tournament here. At Laird.gg, the clutch battle, ladies and gentlemen. The first one, 500 euros on the line just as the game gets released. And, whew, this is going to be... Uh, this could get intense. It was a big winner, of course, in the last round. But still, with 10 to 8, that's still doable. And there's two ults already now for the defenders. The attackers, though, have to deal with Ray's grenade immediately. And that takes a couple of hit points off already. Uh, Jet is already sitting tight. But oh, <laughs> headshot as David goes down. We got a little bit more over here. Wall has already been raised. Jet is still in play. Let's not forget about Uzi as he's trying to push through the double doors. And uh, we still have Jet also. Oh, sorry, my bad. Jet down. Oh, there's no kill. Thrifty, nicely done. Oh, she really did well played by them. So that was also a team ace at the same time. So uh, the attackers losing another one. And that puts the ninth point onto the board for the defenders. So team easy loot. They have definitely not given up on this game, neither should they. Weaponry, of course, with all the money that they have, not going to be a problem for the French team. Still sitting at... Yeah. Vandals and Phantoms. All game long for both teams. No operator players over here, apparently. The money. haven't used any of that yet for anything else. Uh, starting to go for B again over here. And David has been incredibly aggressive. I mean, every single game that you've seen so far, he's been pushing in hyper-aggressive towards B. Tries to go for the blind again. Already a smoke over here. Falls back for now. Instead, we actually have Brimstone pushing in a little bit. The plan is already there. And they're starting to rotate over a little bit. Okay. Mashina. He's trying to wait this out. The only one on the spawn, actually. He's be really careful. I mean, it's a little bit too much for him to handle, I would say. Or not. Well, gets one, gets two. Good start for him. Ah, falls to the third though, but a good double kill regardless. Now Uzi, of course, is just waiting just around the corner. Oh, wall is in. They immediately burn it down. Wall's burned, and they still can't get the kill. Only last man standing is Phoenix. And he's actually trying to slow it down, and that should be a win for them. Yep, there it is. Able to take the win. Nobody can go for the defuse here. And Kinsta with a pretty smart move. Comes in with the hot hands, uses them. And that brings another point for the attackers. And they establish another two-point lead over their opponent. 11-9. to nine. And now Eco is running a little bit low. I mean, honestly, this is the last round where they can buy. Paixo can still get himself a proper weapon if Niso is buying for him. Which is exactly what happens here. 
Okay. David, is he pushing into the middle now. again? He's been pushing hyper aggressive throughout this entire game so far. Camera is out for Cypher. And Reyna is pushing slowly towards A. Yeah, camera is in. Gets taken out there too. Trying to also immediately aim for the spawn where you usually would see the traps here. Okay, it's actually not the only thing that we are seeing. We have again. Out of charge. Grimstone making his play. Trying to move in over here. Molly. It's a Molly up on A. A few waiting in the shadows over here now too. And in addition to that, we also have on long still Reyna sitting, poking a little bit further. They're starting to slowly move away. Breach is still holding a C though, so it's not quite open. And Sage is already rotating over towards B, so they're completely fooled here. David with Reyna is still looking down A, waiting for a chance to maybe make a play over here. Wall bends a little bit, makes a bit of noise. Let's not forget about... Yeah, about Phoenix, though. They're starting to move in. Here's the eye with the blind. Takes the wall down. Pikes are down. Index eliminated as well. They get the double kill as they're entering on a... Put the spike down any second here. And only two of the defenders are currently still in plane. They're going to try and make their way over here. So first of all, Tons up with the approach up towards the top. Still, no name. Can get a potential kill here. Doesn't get one. Top side, Tons are already in a position where he's slowed down by Sage's orb. And they know exactly where he is right now. Second orb comes through. Wallbang's coming in from everywhere. And he's taken down by Brimstone as well. 12 points against 9. That's match point. Match point for the French Frogs. They had a bit of a shaky start, not gonna lie. On the defender side, they definitely struggled heavily in the initial rounds. I think it was a 4-0 lead that we had for easy loot before things started to slowly turn. Also because they decided to buy in the second round and it didn't go well for them as you could tell. Now the defenders have 4 ults ready and that's actually scary as hell. So we have 4 ults available, this should be a round where they can make a lot happen. They have 2, they don't really have the best weapons on the other hand. They got 2, well 1 Bucky actually first of all. And yeah, again. The aggression over here in the middle. Okay, gets taken down though. No name, eliminates David. That's actually some weapons that they can pick up now as well. Spike is still moving through. Oh, sorry, Uzi gets the kill over here. Uh, bad news for the defenders. Only two standing. I'm gonna try and wrap around here. Full control of the C point. We got now four against only one last man standing. Pike, so can he make the play? It's unlikely, but he gets at least the initial kill. Takes Uzi down, but it's tough. The wall is up, the slows are there, and for him to really make a play against three now and reclaim this, that would actually require an incredible miracle on his part. And he doesn't even get the next kill. The attackers taking it as the French frogs advance to the next round of the tournament.